In today's video, we're going to cover how to solve algebraic equations, like this one here, where the unknown letter occurs on both sides of the equation. For example, in this question, the unknown letter is the x, so we're trying to find the value of that x. But importantly, we have two x terms in our equation, a 2x term on the left and a 5x term on the right. To solve equations like this, we do exactly the same thing as with any other algebraic equation. Namely, we need to get the unknown letter all by itself, so that we end up with just x equals some number. To do this, we first need to get all the x's on one side of the equation, and all the numbers on the other side. It's up to you which side you put each of them on. But in this case, it'll probably be easier to put the x's on the right hand side, because there are already more x's on the right than the left. So if we want the x's on the right, and the numbers on the left, then we're going to have to get rid of this minus 12 from the right hand side, and get rid of this 2x from the left. This means that we're going to have to add 12 to each side to get 2x plus 15 equals 5x, and then take away 2x from each side to get 15 equals 3x. Then lastly, to get a single x by itself, we just divide both sides by 3 to find that 5 equals x. So x is 5. Let's try a couple more. In this first one, we have 2y minus 7 equals 3 minus 3y. So we want to get the y's on one side and the numbers on the other. At the moment, there are more y's on the left side than the right side. Because remember, positive 2y is bigger than negative 3y. So it'll be easier for us if we put the y's on the left and the numbers on the right. This means that the first thing we want to do is add 3y to both sides to get 5y minus 7 equals 3. Then to get all the numbers to the right, we want to get rid of the minus 7 by adding 7 to both sides, which would give us 5y equals 10. And then lastly, we can just divide both sides by 5 to find that y equals 2. For this last one, it'll be easiest to keep the a's on the right and the numbers on the left. So you need to subtract 4a from both sides to get minus 5 equals 7 plus 2a. Then subtract 7 to get minus 12 equals 2a. Then you can just divide both sides by 2 and you find that minus 6 equals a. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So hope it all made sense, and thanks for watching.